Get motivated with Mr. Smiles, Vinny Chopra. He is also known as Mr. Enthusiasm. He will share and challenge you each week on great topics, on how to get excited, how to really make things happen in your business, and change your life for the better. Here is Vinny with this week's Motivation Inspiration. Hi guys, welcome to your weekly Motivation Power Talk with Mr. Smiles. I am your co-host, Alicia DeBrell, And guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and press that subscribe button so you guys can check into each one of our podcasts. But this morning, first, I want to say good morning, Mr. Smiles. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, Alicia. How are you today? I am good. I'm good. I'm excited about today's interview because... All right. What's the topic? (laughs) Well, I want to talk to you about where you get your keys from. Keys? Yeah, house keys or the car keys? <laughs> no, neither. I want the keys to success in multifamily. All right. Oh my gosh, that's the world I've been living in. As some of you might know, that I started. I became a broker in two thousand five, four or five. I forget now. That's about fifteen years back. It's twenty twenty February that we are recording this. Hopefully, it'll come out very quickly to you all. Also, the key thing is. When I started learning this art of, you know, multifamily, the biggest thing I came across, Alicia, was how do you go about it, right? I needed to learn so much. I didn't know anything. Cash on cash, uh, EIA, you know, uh, I mean, no, no, LOI, letter of intent. I didn't know nothing and nothing about anything, totally. We had single family homes, which is simple. You just... Call a broker, you like the house, you buy it, you pay a loan and payment and all, and property management companies go to manage it, right? They did it for all over USA for us. But when I became broker, I said, my gosh, I want to get into multifamily after looking at a lot of avenues. So the key to success at that time was my burning desire to learn the tricks of the trade. And burning desire to read up as much as I could on the multifamily field, why, how, where, all that stuff, right? So the key, I would say, definitely is education. Number one, you got to educate yourself if you want to be good at something and you don't want to lose thousands of dollars by making time, hours and time too, right? That's the thing. You know, we may save a few hundred dollars or thousand dollar, not 20, 40, 50,000. A lot of other coachings are asking for 40,000, 50,000. One coach asked for 100,000. That's ridiculous, you know. But the thing is, our programs are very, very inexpensive and all, but that's beside the point. The big thing is to get educated. That's the number one key. Then not to get into analysis paralysis. <laughs> so what do I mean by that? You keep on talking, keep on listening, keep on doing this. And you say, I'm going to take two years or three years to just learn this business. Haley cow, you should get out of the business. That's I say to you, commitment. if you're going to take that long to learn the business, market is going to leave you behind and so forth. Give yourself maybe two to three months maximum to learn everything and everything. And that's what my academy goal is, you know, when I do the master coaching every Wednesday, as some of you know, and so forth, because I want to give my best to all the students in a group setting, I do it. Personal coaching, I do also a little bit. But the thing is to really formulate the systems to be successful. What are the keys to success? Our first education, take massive action, and have a mindset that you're going to accomplish it. Oh, that's a huge part. Even if you learn everything, you take actions, but if your mind is not right, you are not really focused to get results, then it's not going to go anywhere. So the key to success is action and your positivity, your thinking, your excitement, enthusiasm in talking to your investors and your brokers Forming the right team is another very big key to success. Forming the right team and a team is so important by having a partner with you who's got a high net worth. If you don't have 
high net worth, you find somebody in your family or your uh, friend circle who has some pennies, you know, or dollars or millions mm -hmm. that you can combine your net worth with their net worth to qualify for loan. Yeah. See, because nobody's giving you the loan if your net worth is not more than the loan itself in commercial, in commercial, you know, I think you don't need that high net worth in your single family home. Your W-2 will qualify and things like that. But in the commercial buildings of exactly. apartments or hotels or mobile home parks or industrial or whatever, strip shopping centers, all of them, right? Your net worth will be accountable to get the loan. Your background is going to be accountable also. So I would say key to success for new people is to associate yourself with a good mentor and a coach who's going places, who has done things, who's doing things daily or weekly or whatever, and maybe latch onto them, you know, and do some work with them so that you can get yourself off to a, a more successful place. All right. So yes. What's the other key to success is having the time. You've got to have the time. A lot of people come into my academy and they say, Vinny, I've, I've got a W2 job. Then they have family to, to attend to, their children and everything. They have so little time to devote to the art that they want to make an independent, you know, uh, financial independence, right? So things don't happen. If we only work for eight hours at the work, we are tired. We give them one hour a day or so uh, to look into the art of, you know, whatever multifamily they are trying to do. So time is a big factor. Having some cash is a big factor. <laughs> you cannot really do good in multifamily if you don't have some liquid cash because you will be flying in hotels. And if, you don't, if you don't have liquid cash or the net worth, then you're not going to be successful. You will not be successful, really. Or you find a partner who has it then or get a loan, right? You know, get a line of credit on your home or equity or things like that. Figure out ways or get dig into savings, right? I've heard about so many people taking four or five business cards or credit cards and then taking to the hilt that money to invest and then they paid up big dividends you know if you buy the right property now what are the other keys to multifamily i just talked about property so finding the right market is a huge key to success in multifamily you cannot just do it say let me look for this house over here in my backyard you can't on multifamily you got to look at the numbers and analyze the numbers you have to first analyze the market where you're going to purchase because you want to find the property in a good market where there are jobs and the jobs will continue to increase because if the demand is there, you can increase the rents and things like that. If the rents are low, you can bump up the rents, value add feature, rub system and all that will happen. But the key thing is the right location. Location area is very important. Then after that comes the quality of the asset, what you can afford, what you can buy and underwriting it, due diligence, that those are the keys to success in buying the right property. Then the last key to success I'll say is the property management. Property yeah. management is so, so important because- You buy it right, but if it's not managed correctly- I know, I know. I mean, a lot of people teach about just buying it, buying it, underwriting, buying, buying. And then after that, shoo, wow, what to do now? We got the key to the property, key to success for that property. But if we don't have any experience, we don't know what we are doing. We don't have the right personnel there, manager there, or a property management company that we have already talked to and they have really on board with you. Maybe even an equity partner in your first property. I really, really suggest that to my students to get a good success going, bring the property management company to raise some money also. Everybody in the organization should be raising money. Hold on. What did I say? Everybody in the partnership needs to be raising money. That's point blank. Because if everybody is raising money and they're putting their money into the deal, vested interest, skin in the game, 
they're going to work like Dickens to make that property perform. But if they have zero money into it and they have zero vested interest, just that $3,000 monthly uh, management fee, they are not going to give you the time of the day. They are not going to give you what they should give you as the cost of doing business, the contractors and the payroll, the managers payroll, all the expenses will be inflated. That's the word. It's very hard to find the right property management companies. That's why we always have done our own management company after we fired our first one 12 years back. So we have had two acquisition companies and two management companies vertically aligned. I love it. You just gave all of the keys to having this successful multifamily business, especially if you're brand new and you kind of laid every, every single spot out. And I love that. And I love that about the way you just give all of the nuggets all the time. Thank you. you know, it's so important that, you know, we align ourselves, you know, it's so important that we write down our goals in each aspect of what I talked about, because you got to give time just like I explained in my book also, right? You know, the top seller book, which I wrote, it took me two years to write it, but a lot of people are liking it and they're enjoying it and they're really, really getting a lot of good things out of it. Very positive comments are coming out of it. The key thing is you got to really become a student of the profession. You want to find time and prioritize and make sure you are looking at all the keys to success in making you the best syndicator or best multifamily investor. If you don't need help from investors and syndicate or pool their money together, that's okay too. Don't worry about it. Maybe your friends have a lot of money or one investor has a lot of money. You could do it that way, but you've got to analyze the deal and do the due diligence and do yeah. the inspections your and learn the materials so that you can be very successful for their sake. Oh my gosh, because you have fiduciary responsibility for the money to save, uh, safeguard the money that you just took it as a loan and then to give the cash flow to the investors or to whoever gave you the money, right? You have to make interest payments and equity payments and all those, all that come about when you are aligned with your keys to success, like we discussed in this whole podcast, a bunch of them. I hope you write it down, you share with other people and give us some good questions so that we can answer. Love it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Mr. Chopra, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. And guys, uh, don't forget, like I said, like, comment, share. If you have any questions, please leave, please leave those in the show notes below and we'll be happy to answer them on air. All right, guys, until next time. Thank you. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you, guys. See you. You will be amazed at the insights Vinny will share each week. He will share his experiences. He has taken $7 to over $220 million portfolio in commercial real estate. To reach Mr. Smiles, text the word syndication to 474747 or go to his website, vinnychopra.com.